we are, I'm told I have on the line uh, another lawyer who has been very much on this matter. Lawyer Semsa is also a law lecturer at Gimpa. Of course, he's also in his own council, very much distinguished. You're welcome, sir. Good evening, Raymond, and good evening to your viewers. Is it a step in the right direction, or too little, too late? Um, first of all, it's a step in the right direction. Um, but Raymond, even if it is not too late, let's assume that it is not even too late. I think since the day the formation of the Office of the Special Prosecutor, one thing we all accepted was that in white-colour crimes, arrest and criminal prosecution of persons does not solve the problem. What matters in white color crimes and what we have been pushing for is the recovery of the monies that were lost. So to the extent that the arrest of the person involved would provide information as to where the monies are, then we can say it is a step in the right direction. However, if, as we have seen before, the arrest and prosecution and even um, sentencing of such persons will not bring us what we have lost and compensate persons who have lost so much, then we might say uh, the step in the right direction, but won't go far. But so, let me get this straight. The customer was excited that because he's been arrested, automatically they're going to get their money. Are you saying that it is not automatic? that merely being arrested or his, he and his accomplice being arrested or the order for the arrest, even if they are arrested, to pursue this criminal case, it doesn't in any way mean that these customers are automatically going to get their monies. Precisely. It doesn't mean that at all. And we have learned that from experience and so many times in this country where persons who have been arrested for white-colour crimes, they, sometimes they're even jailed, go to jail and they come out and nothing is recovered. So... If I were the um, customers, who, the victims of these, uh, you know, these uh, activities, what I would be pushing for is what we have all been pushing for, how to track down and trace these money and recover, retrieve them for purposes of redistribution for persons who have lost it. And like I've been saying, you, the customers may not get all their money. Of course, if they could get all their money, then there wouldn't be a problem in the first place. But it's because they can't get all their money. But at least something to uh, settle them somehow, because their are, are worries are just so huge that we need um, further action than uh, just arresting and prosecution. In fact, even if it is possible to retrieve the money and without even arrest, then customers will be even more happy than to uh, arrest him. Of course, if you arrest him, definitely you have access to some information which may, as it were, you know, uh, help you to retrieve the money. But it is not automatic at all. Grateful to you. Thank you so much. Senior law lecturer at the Gimpa Law School, Justice Sermside.